Welcome to Wiccan Fen. My name's Ajay and I'm a ranger here. This is part of the undrained fen with the iconic wind pump in the background, but I spend a lot of my time out on the wider reserve. These are some of the conic ponies that graze here. They cope well with this environment. They're fine in all weathers and also in wet places as well. And also they help us by spreading seed in their dung and that helps to spread some of the plants around because this is a part of the fen that was actually farmland 20 years ago and it's gradually being reclaimed with nature taking over again and they're helping in that process. I've walked into the field to check on the ponies, which we do every day for their welfare, but it's important that the public stick to footpaths and don't enter these fields. These are a few of our highland cattle, and like the conics, they're here to graze. They graze in a slightly different way, and so they have a slightly different impact on the vegetation, and that adds to the variety of the habitats here at Wiccan Fen. In a few of the corners of the fen, we've got these exclosures, like the one you can see behind me here, and these have been put up to show what it would be like if the area wasn't grazed by the livestock. And you can see this is full of bushes and scrub, and that's what potentially the whole fen could be like if we didn't graze it to get that nice diverse range of habitats, which benefits a diverse range of wildlife. The level of the land where I'm standing is a few metres lower than the waterways here, which are at sea level. We're below sea level here on this bit of land because the drainage has caused the peat soil to shrink and therefore the land is lower. On this part of the fen, we've abstracted water, which means we've taken it from the surrounding waterways and put it onto the land here. And we've got reed beds forming, and it's a really great area for wildfowl. In the winter, a lot of ducks and geese use this area. As well as an important place for wildlife, the fen is an important place for people as well. And we have art installations occasionally, like Mother behind us here. This also has become a habitat for barn owls, and they've been roosting in it too. So it's a happy meeting place for both nature and people. <laughs> 